Welcome back to the Robezoid channel. I'm your host, Mark, and welcome to your test drive Thursday. Today, we are delving into the brand of Amouage. I swear, I have a subscriber base only subscribed to me for these fragrance reviews. Amouage. I, I swear, some of you just come out of the woodworks and just come out for these type of reviews. I appreciate you. I love you. Uh, come by more often, but I understand. Um, this is part of the ending of the Christopher Chong uh, era, this one called Portrayal Man. Now, I bought this, I think it was 2019, so I think it was near launch. Um, honestly, I've changed my mind on this one. You'll see that there's, well, you won't see, but um, there's not much of a dent here. And, uh, you know, I've had this bottle since 2019, um, which is the launch year of this, this fragrance and not much of a dent. Now you could say, hey, look, you got 3000 fragrances, bottles, full bottles, plus you're testing, you know, samples and stuff like that. So you don't really have a lot of time with certain fragrances, but and that's a great excuse. But at the same time, some of my favorites, Jubilation, Memoir, Interlude, like I'm one of those that I started, like I grew up on the Christopher Chong era. Um, so I have some, some of the early babies that are just me. And when I reach out for an amouage, there is some that kind of get forgotten. And it's a double-edged sword, having a big collection as a collector versus really appreciating your scents. Like a smaller collection, um, someone like myself would really appreciate scents. And that's why these fragrance reviews, and I think a lot of you tune in, is that I do take the time on every single fragrance reviews. It's not on to the next one. Um, I really just sit down and I focus, and I do a lot of that. Like I'm doing bulk like this year, videos like crazy. Um, I don't know how I do it, to be quite honest, um, to give you as much detail in fragrances, testing samples, fragrances and all that, and actually give you something that's decent in video form. At least I personally think I give, I give you something decent. Now, I had this one pegged all wrong at the start. I thought this was just a Fahrenheit violet leaf based scent. And, and I didn't know really where this slotted in in the whole Amouage library. I really felt like, oh, he's on his way out. And this is kind of like, it's one of those. And I shouldn't count Christopher Chong out. And I keep doing this, especially with the, the later releases in his era. Um, now that I took some, some time with this one, finally, you know, I sat down, I wore it for days and, and really delved into it. And that's just a small portion of what Portrayal can do. Whew, I understand, and this one doesn't really have much hype, but I do understand the love for this fragrance for certain people. The bottle looks like, you know what it reminds me of, and this is all about the art here. Um, it really reminds me of water reflecting light, raindrops reflecting colors. And that is kind of a play on, on the Violet Leaf um, Accord, which Violet Leaf does, of course, give you a dewy wetness uh, to the fragrance. So it's kind of a play on here of genius of what this bottle represents. At least to me, that's what I think. I might be way off of what Christopher Chung was thinking about this, this bottle design. Now, I just did a test drive on Imitation Man, which is based on the 70s. And I really took my time with that one, really started understanding that one. That one was also in the doghouse with this one. And I don't mean like doghouse, like I don't like them. It's just, I just didn't have time for them. I didn't really take my time with them. So Imitation Man was released back in 2018. It was based on the 70s. And, and this one released a year later, reminds me of the late 80s, early 90s. So Chong does know how to make a retro smell modern. And I don't know if not everybody clues in on that. There's, there's a lot of things with the Christopher Chong era that just sometimes you just go, oh my God, that's what he's doing. And it almost seems like he's making fragrances in time and kind of locking them in, making them modern for this day. Always love smelling the Chong library as there's more than what meets the eye on his releases. Now, usually amouages have an extensive note breakdown. Not this one. You go on websites, three notes. So the reviews that depend on note breakdowns for Grantica and that, like you're going to get sputtery reviews, like reviews of just those three notes. And uh, 
it's a disservice to you, of course, the viewer. So hopefully you tune into mine. I can't wait to roll up my sleeves. They're already rolled up, as you can see, kind of midway. And I can't wait to, to take on this challenge of a three-note amouage. What else is in this concoction? And there is more. We'll get into that. Now, before we get into the meat and potatoes of this fragrance review, I'd like to thank our sponsor of the day, FragranceX.com. And you can check out, of course, um, this particular fragrance on FragranceX. Support me by utilizing coupon code ROBES08 in their coupon section and get 15% off of your purchase. You don't have to just buy this. You can buy anything. You can do a mega haul. You can do a little small haul. Um, that's your choice. But uh, definitely thank you for the support to FragranceX and uh, yourselves that do utilize that code on their website from time to time. Now, there's a lot of meat and potatoes. I talked about meat and potatoes. There's a lot of meat and potatoes in this particular fragrance. Now, let's go under the hood. Let's take a look at some stats before I delve into this bad boy. Release date, 2019. Knows uh, one familiar with the brand of Amouage and Mr. Chong, Pierre Negre, Mr. Interlude himself. Um, so he's known of the brand and he's they, they work well together. Honestly, I, I haven't met a Negre release from Amouage that I didn't like. Uh, major notes to my nose. We'll go with the ones that are listed. Vetiver, Violet Leaf, Cade. Um, wow. Uh, taking out Vetiver. Like Vetiver is not, not that it's not an extensive note, but there's not much moving parts as far as Vetiver goes in Portrayal Man. Um, there is a, I would say it's the third wheel of the, the three, to be quite honest. Um, the violet leaf is obviously front and center in the opening and also the Cade is a very, very big note in this release. Actually, much bigger than it would be in a lot of other releases and I'm going to get into that. So I am wearing this. It is my scent of the day today, but uh, we are going to remind me of the introduction. We're going to do two sprays. Why not? Love, love the sound of that. Now, mm, and I have it on strip too. And... <laughs> this is a good one um i really like if you go see my unboxing of this in first impression uh, i didn't give it just just i liked it but i didn't give it justice now right off the bat magic happens and a lot going on and i'm going to try to decipher and i'm going to try to hit the, all the little build, building blocks but um Right off the bat, yeah, magic happens for me and disappointment for some. And what do I mean by that? You get that Fahrenheit reference right away, that violet leaf. It is a major player in this introduction. It honestly, now that I've dissected this thing, one of the best violet leaf notes in the game is right here in front of me. Betrayal hits you right over the head with this note and references every single inch of the note. And that's what I absolutely love from the brand of Amouage is... At times, you are going to get a note and you're going to get this three-dimensional note and you almost kind of forget that this note can give you certain things here and there. Um, some fragrance brands utilize certain things in, in, in notes, like case in point, Violet Leaf. Violet Leaf can just be very watery. It can make a summer scent really, really nice. And uh, they kind of get away from certain aspects of it, the, the darker aspects of it. Noses do that. Um, Fahrenheit's another, you know, the other side of that scale. And this one has one of the best in the game because it hits you with everything. Now, Violet Leaf, to me, in my reference, at least what's in my head here, is that it smells herbaceous. It has metallic qualities. It does have oily, earthy quali qualities, but mostly in a lot of fragrances, when you see the reference of Violet Leaf in the note breakdown, it smells watery, cucumber-like nuances, which are very very much also ozonic. And in this particular scent, um, they don't use, you know, in, in, sorry, in a lot of summertime scents, they don't use that oily aspect like Fahrenheit would and this one would. And this one does utilize it. But the great thing about this scent is you're getting all of this. No, not at the same time. Well, sometimes at the same time. It really morphs and it makes the note really three-dimensional. Um, so you're going to get the more robust pieces up top with its petrol Fahrenheit reference. And then it slides into the left for a more authentic watery aspect of the violet leaf. It is full-on 3D, authentic, amazing use of violet leaf. The best in the game, man, arguably, but it's, it's right up there. 
And honestly, when I did my unboxing, like I just very good reference of Violet Leaf, but I just, uh, I didn't get it at the time. I'm getting it now. Um, beautiful. Um, one of the best, if not the best use of it in perfumery that my nose has encountered. Now, just because I say that does not mean it's a fact. Um, you have to reference a lot of Violet Leaf based scents before you make your own judgment. Now the Cade Oil comes into play uh, much, it's a much larger note in the back end, but we're going to speak a little later about the Cade, uh, but it does play a part in this opening and I just wanted to nudge it just a little bit because of that petrol-like feel. Cade does give out smoky aspects. It's mostly known, basically. If you're telling me that there's Cade oil in a fragrance, I'm like, is there leather in it? Because Cade makes leather, it works well with leather. It has leathery aspects in it, but it also has a smoky leathery aspect. So it really makes leather-based fragrances really interesting to me. So when I see Cade and leather and the no breakdown, I'm usually pretty happy about it. Um, but it's it, it really helps that petrol like uh, opening in this release, and it gives out a little bit of like it's not a I wouldn't call this a smoky scent. Uh, it's actually uh, quite tame in regards to a lot of the notes here that would be really rough and tumble. The perfume Negrain did very very well on on balancing them and making them very much. Um, tone down, uh, but Cade does play a major, major part in the back end of this, but wanted to reference it in this introduction as well. Now going back to the leaf, and I have to go back to the leaf because we haven't described it just enough just yet. Um, now that we've gotten away from the Fahrenheit petrol kind of unique take of, of Portrayal Man here, it goes more into the typical violet leaf that you get in a lot of these designer fragrances and summer and spring type scents. Now the leaf gives off this, and I'm trying to use imagery here, an early morning dewy green ozonic airy quality. Think leaves, think greenery, think trees, think vegetation. Um, let's sprinkle a little bit of the violets swaying in the air. Now we're going to get back to that because the smell of violet leaves is definitely different than violets. They don't smell alike, but there's violets in the air and I'm going to get back to that. And oh, it feels like it's going to rain. It, it, you can smell it. A thunderstorm is brewing. And that's where my imagery is going with this. It really has that very authentic greenery. Oh. And oh, that, and there's some spices here, by the way. It just it just hit me, and um, which is not listed, but we're gonna get to that. Um, beautiful, beautiful, authentic, and that's what it gives basically. So the authenticity of the violet leaf follows this petrol, unauthentic, smoky thing um, to a beautiful, getting me into the woods kind of thing. Um, which is beautiful. Comparing this to Fahrenheit is almost a disservice to both scents, by the way. I feel this is a much thinner scent, in my personal opinion, than Fahrenheit, much more complex than I actually thought. Um, there's much more going on in this release than Fahrenheit. And Fahrenheit, I'm not saying it's an overly dumbed down release. It actually has some complexity to it, but uh, an excellent scent for release in the 80s, to be quite honest, and still selling well to this day. Um, so give it props when props is due. Fahrenheit's a beast of a fragrance. But this thing, um, we're doing a disservice saying this is Fahrenheit in a niche bottle, niche price point. Um, I've seen a lot of that throughout my days. Like I haven't gone everybody's fragrance review and see what people are talking about. But um, if that's what the scope is in your fragrance review, get back to the drawing board. Now this is joined by something spicy. There's something spicy in here. And you could say that's the Cade. And you could say it's coming from multiple sources. Um, I don't believe that this is a three note fragrance, by the way. Um, I feel personally, and again, this is through my journey. Um, there's some spices in here. I thought it was a cumin, honestly. I feel like it's more of a caraway seed than a cumin. Um, it's a very slight spice, but it hits you. And it hits the right nose at the right time. Um, I, I really don't, people that pass by and, I, and through my testing, you know, I was trying to see what people thought about this particular fragrance. And a lot of people talked about soapiness and I'm gonna get to that point. Um, so nobody got this cumin-like funk that I'm smelling. 
but it's there. There is a spicy element in here that a lot of people miss in this release. It's so slight, so don't worry. It fades more into the mid and then it's long gone, uh, but it's a neat little spicy trick um, to just give this fragrance some sort of complexity to it at the same time. Not that it needed it, but yeah, that caraway, um, absolutely gorgeous. And I might be wrong. It might not be caraway, but God, it sure does smell like it. Um, beautiful, beautiful, spicy trick. Now the violet leaves at this point start morphing into a proper violet note. And aha, okay, all right. So violet, violet leaves, two different things, right? Yep. And it eventually the violet leaves crumble and eventually give in to a proper violet note. Now I've never smelled this in perf perfumery ever in my life. I, I haven't yet that a nose will utilize both the violet leaf and the violets in the same type of fragrance. I'm getting both imagery in a fragrance. At this point, I felt like I smelled iris. Like once I got into this, I'm like, okay, like the soapiness that people are talking about. I'm like, this is like being iris. There's a floral in here. There's a floral tendency in this really something in here. And I thought it was iris, but it's violet giving its familiar floral powdery soapy quality that can also give spicy woody facets at the same time you get that in here and it really helps this retro 80s look that chong was looking for and i know this i think it was based as far as their brief goes i think they were referencing the 20s i might be wrong right? 20s or 30s um i'm all 80s right now early 90s and when i get into this part of the mid of of portrayal man I go directly in that light, late 80s, early 90s powerhouses. Fahrenheit meets like a Bel Ami from Hermes, Etage from Guerlain, another reference point to this release with much less punch to it, cleaned up and faded without compromising performance. And that was one thing that I really noticed in this release was like, huh, okay, Fahrenheit, everybody's got that, put that aside. Um, Bel Ami, well, there's some um, spicy facets in this release and I'm referencing the caraway. Uh, is 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 very uncanny with some of those you know mid 80s like i'm talking i think bellamy was in 86 correct me if i'm wrong and more late 80s than anything and then early 90s which edie Taj from galilee was a 92 uh release uh, so much less punch in those fragrances those are powerhouses this is cleaned up this is um faded almost uh, but not comp compromising any performance. You know, this is not a two hour release, uh, but it feels, I don't wanna say watercolor-esque because it's not, because there is some piquant to it. There's some spicy to it. There's a, obviously some smoke and there's some leather bases too. So Chang and Negrin here really nailed that imagery to me. This is right where it brought me to. Less spicy, still has it tucked it in there a little bit. Floral, but well hidden to many noses. Um, I, I haven't seen anybody really referencing a lot of florals in their reviews per se. They're just talking about the violet leaves and leathery. And we're gonna get to that point. There's lots of leathery nuances here that really reminds you of those powerhouses. And of course, some woody aspects at the same time. So it goes and brings us to a journey, this fragrance. Um, it goes from a petrol violet leaf darkness to a clean, authentic watery violet leaf to a more powdery, dare I say, I don't want to say barbershop, but I kind of feel a little bit of barbershoppiness in here, but more of a clean, um, powdery, soapy, violet base with leathery touches. And it just brings you to the, the late eighties. Now, moving on to the other notes, um, you know, we've talked about Kate a little bit. We've talked about violet leaves quite a bit. Um, the vetiver is in the back end. It just really, to my nose, isn't a big player in here. It's not big or bold. It just helps the earthy greenness of the back end of this. And it just does exactly that. Um, I, I didn't feel too much rootiness out of this. Um, dare I say more of a clean vetiver than anything and not really a big robust one. And it wouldn't go well with the, the idea of this anyway. Now the Cade oil, now let's get more into a great note, the Cade oil. Okay. So the violet leaf, uh, at least from what I think, I've established that it's one of the best in the game. The Cade oil here is a huge part of portrayal from start to finish, but it really makes its presence known in the back end. Now Cade to me, when you're talking about Cade, and I already referenced this already, is that when I see it in fragrances, especially in leather ones, I, I get happy. You get the little happy dance. 
it gives fragrances smoke. And that's my reference point of Cade. When I think about Cade oil, I think about smoke. Uh, that's all I think about really, is mostly what it's known for. But here, just like the violet leaf, um, it shows everything of the Cade. And, and these are things that I've, you know, I'm, I'm blown away with. It shows the, obviously it's root from juniper berries. So it's giving out that juniper gin aspect to this release to uh, the resinous smoky quality, which is refined here. It never really chokes out the user. You know, you're not gonna call this a smoky release by any chance. I don't think I would. Um, I feel that's like a part of it, but it's, and funny enough, Cade is, I'm, I'm surprised that you didn't use birch tar in this release because Cade and birch tar both kind of give off a petrol like note, but birch tar is much more pronounced than Cade. Um, so they used Cade in here because of probably the other, um, other aspects of the Cade that comes into play in this. Obviously the juniper reference is huge in here, but it also shows a beautiful leathery back end, um, beautiful leather in the back end of this set. And that it's, that's its major contribution in this, in this scent is that it's leathery aspect, the smoky aspect, of course, but also a woody aspect in this release. Um, the Cade is, brings everything together in this release. I've never really seen Cade be, um, so prominent in a, in a release or at least do so much in a release. Like it's more of a supporting role in a lot of fragrances that I've tried within my journey. Um, I've never experienced it and, and I've never really experienced it. Well, I've experienced it muffled a bit, but here it really balances well, like Negrain did his thing here. Now that leathery tone is prominent and it will hold hands with the violet note, not the violet leaf, but the violet note. There's a slight pine-like woody aspect in this release too, and it just blends perfectly with the rest of the scent. A modern 80s powerhouse dressed up, in my opinion. Um, definitely a, a, a fragrance that, um, you know, I do these test drives for, for you know, to help out people, honestly. Um, you know, there's a lot of things through my experience that I hope it helps you out or, and rediscover, discover, whatever it is on a fragrance, especially something like this that has a lot of artistic back end to it. Um, but at the same time, I am being a little selfish as these test drives. Really with a collection like this, it's almost impossible for anybody to really enjoy every part of their collection. There's, there's, I would say hundreds of fragrances behind me and you're not seeing everything here. This is just like a third and not even. Um, but the problem is, is fragrances like this uh, don't get the appreciation from me. Um, you know, you don't know what you have until you really spend time with it. And these test drives kind of give me that chance that, it, yeah, sometimes they're duds, but sometimes they just really just surprise you. So, voila. That's the end of that. But overall, this is a perfect rainy day, gloomy day type of scent, you know, staying in, reading a book, um, or going out for a walk in the rain. Um, with a collection like mine, it's easy to buy and forget. And this is why proper testing before doing a review is a must. Um, it is a must. It's something that I'll never stop doing. I'll never cookie cutter it. I can't. I hardly put a dent in this one and the proof's in the pudding. I'm not a splitter, so I, I don't, you know, I'll tell you if a splitter of mine split a bottle and it's 50%, um, and some of them I just buy full retail, like kind of like this. Um, but this is simply a beautiful scent that I took for granted that I just, just collected dust and I need to reach out more uh, for this one. So this tester, I've kind of opened up my eyes on it. Um, and I shouldn't doubt Mr. Chong. I really shouldn't, I, I don't know why I, keep doing it, especially with his later releases with Amouache. All right, now that I had my fun with Portrayal, uh, time to close this one off. Let's talk about Seasons, Day Night versus Selling Performance. Uh, seasons for this one, I already said it, it's perfect for rain. So spring, spring, spring. Um, I, I, I can't wait for the spring season to come. I know I'm, I'm getting, you know, uh, no, there's snow on the ground, so I'm not getting early. 
Uh, but I, I can't wait for spring to show up. I feel like this one's gonna be great for that early fall. I mean, could wear it during the winter. I feel like you can even wear it during summer nights. There's no reason why not. That violet leaf is, is great. Um, the only thing is the soapiness of the violet, personally. Um, I feel like in the high heat may be a little too much, and that leather back end, of course. Day or night, both. Um, again, for spring, like gloomy day, you know, it's raining. You can wear it and then at night you know it's a little cooler why not um i feel like a rainy windy day this will be perfect versatility hi i can wear this for almost all occasions dress it up dress it down um i feel like dressing it up would be actually perfect for this release but um yeah dressing it up dressing it down um, most seasons um the only thing i i, I think is you know, the age range. Um, I, I think depending on your nose, this may be worth it or, or not to you, depending. Uh, performance. Performance is Amouage performance. Um, you tend to almost look at fragrances like this, the lighter ones, and go, yeah, right, you're not gonna give me performance. No, it's almost like a joke now. Uh, longevity is nine to 12 plus hours on my skin. When I wore this, I was wearing it. And projection is high. Um, and, and I don't really reference like my real life stuff. Usually I, I keep those for full fragrance reviews, not test drives. But this test drive did get people, people smelt this on me. And I was kind of, I knew the initial, but like I'm talking about several hours later, um, the main focus was on the soapiness, um, which is, um, again, from the violet, um, that, that soapiness comes out and, uh, a lot of people smelt that on this one, at least in several hours in. So my final thoughts of Betrayal Man, and what a journey this little test drive gave me. Um, so what can I say to end this release, uh, or this test drive? I feel at, at times, like these type of fragrance reviews at the end of them, I feel like I really let myself down here. Every time I smell a Chong Era Amouage, that I haven't really had the time or took the time to sit down and enjoy, um, I almost feel like I gave myself a disservice. Like I bought it, it went in the collection and it collected dust. Um, and it's almost like you're disappointed in it, but at the same time, you didn't really give it a chance. Um, and, and I, and I understand why, um, you know, sometimes that, that happens because you do have your favorites of each brand. And honestly, if I started cutting down my collection to, you know, 20 bottles or 50 bottles, if that ever happens, um, the ones that are, the ones that I've wore the most are going to be the ones that I'm going to keep. Um, but this is going to be, this would be a hard one to let go. Uh, I feel like I should never doubt a Chong era amouage. I really shouldn't. And how much of an artistic piece each and every one of his creations are. This one is magnificent. Um, and, uh, yeah, I feel like. Amouage can't miss at this point. Uh, I feel like every single fragrance review that I've done from Amouage in 2023, which I've probably done several now, um, I've been happy and content. And it is one of the premium niche brands um, to me personally. Like, forget Parfum de Marly, forget, you know, Zerjoff and all that. Um, those are the ones that unfortunately get all a lot of the press. Amouage does give out free bottles too. They're part of the free bottle brigade. I, I, it breaks my heart, but at the same time, I don't really care. If you make excellent fragrances, it's proofs in the pudding. I'll never ever pan something just cause, but uh, yeah, I'm done now. Trail man, unfortunately, uh, will wear it this winter and I will wear it uh, coming spring too. It's on my radar now, but it's time for you to hit us up in the comments below. And again, I had a subpar experience with this, um, so give it a chance. And, and that's one thing. If you've seen a little glimpse of greatness out of this release, but you, you're out of your little sample or whatever, um, or you haven't given it a chance, you just smelt it and you went with the reviews of this is a Fahrenheit clone. <sighs> so wrong, 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 wrong. So give it a try. Um, that's my thought process. So looking forward to reading your comments and again, if your comment down below is completely opposite of mine and you say, hey, no, this smells like Fahrenheit to me with a really high price tag, awesome. Um, you're, you're allowed your opinion uh, as much as I am to mine, of course. 
Uh, but uh, yeah, everybody's obviously it's your money. I'm never gonna force you to buy anything. Um, so at the end of the day, Patrol Man, surprising. Um, not surprising, but surprising. Um, I really got a lot out of the, this test drive and I really feel almost energized. Every time I do a test drive like this and I'm like, ah, Patrol Man, you know what? I really haven't tested it much and me coming into it is just like, okay, what are people thinking about? Oh yeah, this is the one that smells like Fahrenheit. And that's your thought process. And you're just like, oh, this might be, you know, the one that's the dud. No, I love that. I love doing test drives like this. So a great or poor fragrance will make a lasting impression. Definitely choose your scent wisely. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.